Hey guys, Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again. Have a uh, different kind of review for you today. It is on a uh, new Gerber fixed blade knife. It is actually the Gerber Strong Arm. It debuted last year, 2015, and I finally got my hands on one. Wanted to uh, do a quick unboxing review and uh, even take it out back to kind of see what she does in the field. So, without further ado, they uh, like I said, they debuted this in 2015. It's kind of Gerber's more serious stab into the tactical market. It's a, uh, they call it a survival knife. Um, it's actually the Coyote plain edge knife, and it's got a really interesting tactical sheath design that I'll show you guys. It's part of the sheath right there. So it comes in this little flimsy box, nothing fancy. The issue is right there. This is all you get with it. Um, it does, uh, you know, the box gets kind of damaged up a little bit in shipping. Um, these are about $45 to $50. So I wouldn't spend any more than $50 on it. Uh, you can look on Amazon, eBay. Uh, I got this off Midway USA. And I do love the color. There you go. Still has some uh, some oil on it still. Nice coyote color there. Uh, like I said, this is coyote with a plain edge. There's no serrations on this one. I know there's a lot of uh, talk in the knife world, serrations versus not, but a lot of the high-end knives don't have serrations on it. They just don't need it. And this particular knife is very, very sharp right out of the box. And in fact, actually got a scrap piece of paper here. You can shave paper with it. You can't. Uh, you can't beat that. That's awesome. Look at the paper shavings there. So yeah, you can't beat that. Really sharp, right out of the box. Nice design to it. It's uh, made right in the USA, which is a definite plus. Uh, right over in uh, Portland, Oregon. There you go. It is actually a full tang. 420HC blade with a black ceramic coating, uh, which helps keep uh, a kind of a low visual profile to it. Uh, very well designed, has nice rubberized textured diamond grips, uh, some flat parts right there. So when you grip it, it feels really good in the hand. Has a, it's called a striking pommel for crushing things, uh, breaking glass, anything like that. Very nice design, and I'll show you something interesting is actually you can take a piece of uh, paracord, and I'll do that before we go out, and you kind of run it through, kind of like a lanyard. You can actually use this to loop your fingers through and use it more of a, more of a kind of a small machete hacking tool. So we can test that out in a little bit. So the really interesting part about this is actually the sheath itself. So it has up to, I think about three or four methods to carry. You can either put the knife in, clips in really strong by the way, it's got these little wings on the side to help push it and goes either way into the sheath. Clips in really nice, you can hang it upside down. Um, you can actually go and wear it like this, where you can go and snap, run it through a, a pretty large belt, any size really, and just hang it on your side when you're ready to use it, unsnap it, push against the wings, flies right out. Or, being how versatile this is, you can actually go ahead and take off certain parts. So, this comes apart, everything snaps. So everything's all kinda, you can unsnap it wherever you need to go. This part here, unsnaps. You won't need these anymore. Now, you can actually go and wear this. What you do is you put this backing on here, and this is for, you have the vertical carry, right? Just hanging off the belt. And this, you run this peg through here, and it's pretty stiff, and it locks in behind here. And you can actually wear it, run the belt through here, and wear it with a horizontal position on the back of the belt. It's a pretty well-balanced knife. I don't know how it would do in the horizontal position, but that's something to try out. 
And of course, even more exciting is the fact that it is enabled for molly webbing. So you can actually take, and I'll do it for this one, clip it in like that, and it goes right through a couple of pieces of molly there, hang it upside down, hang it up. That's phenomenal. That's a great design from Gerber and really kind of shows how they're trying to get into the tactical market. Um, something that's kind of neat for them to do. And like I said, it's a little stiff. These uh, little pins here, you gotta kind of push them together all the way through. So taking it off Molly, uh, you can kind of, once you get the first one, you can kind of yank it out because the way it's tapered, but it's just something to think about. Of course, you can wrap paracord around the blade. It has a bunch of lashings. You can run a, a different webbing through the sheath itself. Really well, well made, uh, very ingenuity. I love the uh, ingenuity behind it. And actually, if you want to kind of compare weight, so let's say, let's see you have all the parts, right? Eleven point five for everything, okay? The knife, seven point two. Now let's say you bring out the Bear Grylls survival knife, which is kind of one of their other, Gerber's other large blade knives. A little bit different. Very, you know, it's a pretty similar size blade. Um, I would say that the Gerber strong arm is a little thicker, a little bit different design, probably a little sturdier. Um, very similar though to the shape. but I think it's just a little bit beefier, if you notice. So this was 7.2, and this is eight. It's a little heavier. It's got a lanyard on there, but with the sheath, 13.2, and again, this was like 11. So you can see that, you know, Gerber is kind of focusing on a little bit less weight, uh, but it is very similar to the Bear Grylls edition. Of course, this is a full survival knife. You got all sorts of stuff on here, fire starter and uh, knife sharpener underneath there and whistle and all that. So, so yeah, guys, let me go and uh, bring this outside and let's see what you can do. Ah, the great outdoors. Some wood here. Maybe you need to make some firewood. Just want to do some carving. Whatever. Let me get my knife. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go. Gerber strong arm. You got this uh, vertical holster right here. You can also do the horizontal, which works pretty well. Uh, I will say the knife's a little heavy in the handle, so you want to slide the holster all the way over, kind of to the left, so that that middle belt loop really hooks on right about there that way you get a little more leverage i mean it's not the greatest kind of uh, carry for it but it's kind of neat um you know it's pretty easy to reholster there you go don't want to cut my finger <laughs> it's pretty easy to reholster um it's really neat i love how versatile the uh, holster itself is uh, what you can do is actually you can go ahead and you know above the usual car ring and if you want self-defense anything like that uh, it's really grippy you're not going to worry too much about slipping your hand and cutting your hand open or anything but go ahead and tie a lanyard on the end here put one or two fingers through it and you have a little more leverage when you do that to really kind of dig in so you can really dig into that i mean it's not an axe it's not a machete but in a survival situation this is all you got this works great so um, Gerber's been making knives for the military for, well, the U.S. military for many years now. I think 1968 was when they first started, and Gerber's strong arm is a good uh, kind of stab at a tactical survival knife, and it's something worth looking at. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, give them a shout out in the comments, and have a good one.